Okay, this is the P2 paper from June 2022. It's question number two, and as you can see, this is an integration question, and more specifically, this is a trapezium rule question. So let's have a look at it. It says we've got this function here, one minus log base 10 sine x, and for part A, it says, can we just fill in these two values using that function. So that's not difficult if you do 1 minus log 10 sine 1, remembering that the angle is in radians, we get 1.075 there. And if we do the same thing with 2, we get 1.041 there. Just make sure your points are nice and clear. So that's part A, no problem with that. Part B then says use the trapezium rule with all the y values in the complete table. Uh, find the answer to two decimal places. So just checking that there's no hidden bits here. We're going between 3 and 0 0.5 and we're going between 3 and 0 0.5 there. We're finding uh, an estimation for the integral of that function. So yeah, absolutely straightforward. This is simply putting the trapezium rule in for this one and our trapezium rule says that our estimate will be d over 2 and then it's going to be y naught plus how many have we got here y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 so it's y naught plus y5 and then two lots of everything else, so y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4. So I always write that in, that's my version of the trapezium rule, just to remind myself of uh, what I'm doing each time. So d, the gap between the values here is 0 0.5, and then we're simply subbing everything in, so we had 1.319 plus 1.850 and then two lots of uh, 1.075, 1.001. So just take your time with this while you're doing it. There's plenty of marks available for this, so just make sure we're not losing anything through any silly errors here. Quick check that those values have been copied down properly from the table before you actually go ahead and do it. But assuming you've got all that absolutely sorted out, this comes to 2.96. And again, just quickly go back. It does say to two decimal places there. So make sure you've done that. And then part C. So part C says use part B to find an estimate for this thing here. So what we need to do before we do anything for part C is we need to see that 3 plus log... 10 sine x, how can I write that using 1 minus log 10? 1 minus log 10 sine x is what I've got. Okay, so I haven't got any choices. How can I make those two equivalent to each other? And a little bit of experience at doing these will be to see if you do 4 minus that, that's the same as 3 uh, plus log 10 sine x. So now that I've got that, I can say, okay, well, the integral of this then is the same as the integral of that between 0 0.5 and 3, between 0 0.5 and 3, which works out then to be the integral of 4 between 0 0.5 and 3. You ideally, you should have your dx in there, shouldn't you? Um, minus what we already know is 2.96. So all we've actually got to do is do the integral of 4, which is 4x, nice and simple, between 3 and 0 0.5. And that value, take away what we'd already worked out, well, do that for us. It's as much as you want to do in terms of showing you working out for that. Um, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times a half is, so it's going to be 12 minus 2, minus all of that. But basically the answer works out to be 7.04 and then that's the answer for part two hopefully that question two sorry hopefully that will make sense